in figure 6.39 sides QP and RQ sides QP and RQ of triangle PQR are produced point S and point T respectively. It's given that angle SPR is equal to 135 degrees and angle PQT is equal to 110 degrees. We need to find angle PRQ. Now we know that angle PQT this is P PQT plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degree because these two angles form a linear pair. Now angle PQT is given equal to 110 degrees plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degrees. This implies angle PQR is equal to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees which gives us 70 degree. Now in triangle in triangle PQR we know that angle SPR is the exterior angle in this triangle so by exterior angle theorem angle SPR is equal to sum of opposite interior angle. So here opposite interior angles are P Q R and P R Q. So angle S P R is equal to angle P Q R plus angle P R Q. Now substituting given value so angle S P R is equal to 135 degrees angle P Q R we found above is equal to 70 degrees plus angle PRQ angle PRQ so this gives us angle let me write it again okay this give, gives us angle P R Q let me write it again okay angle P R Q is equal to 135 degrees minus 70 degree so we get angle P R Q is equal to 65 degrees in figure 6.40 angle X is given equal to 62 degrees angle X Y Z is equal to 54 degrees if Y O and Z O are the bisectors of angle X Y Z and angle X Z Y of triangle X Y Z we need to find angle O Z Y this angle and angle Y O Z that is this angle now in triangle in triangle x y z angle x y z plus angle x z y plus angle y x z is equal to 180 degree because sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees now x y z is given equal to 54 degrees plus angle x z y is the angle which we need to find plus angle y x z is given equal to 62 degrees is equal to 180 degree this implies that angle x z y is equal to 180 degrees minus so if you add 54 and 62 you get 116 degrees so angle x z y is equal to 180 minus 16 degrees 
that is 64 degrees now we also know that angle OZY is equal to half of angle XZY because ZO is the angle bisector of angle XZY so this is equal to 1 by 2 XZY we found is equal to 64 degrees so angle OZY is equal to 32 degrees so this is the first angle that we're supposed to find angle OZY now let's find angle YOZ now in triangle in triangle O Y Z we have angle O Y Z plus angle O Z Y plus angle Y O Z is equal to 180 degree because sum of three angles in the triangle is 180 degree angle O Y Z is half of angle XYZ because YO is the angle bisector of XYZ which is given plus angle OZY we just found here is equal to 32 degrees plus angle YOZ is the angle that we need to find is equal to 180 degree now half angle XYZ so XYZ is equal to 54 so half of 54 is 27 degrees plus 32 degrees plus angle YOZ is equal to 180 degree so this gives us YOZ is equal to 180 minus 32 plus 27 is 59 degrees so angle YOZ let me write it again so angle YOZ is equal to 180 minus 59 which is 121 degrees